So this clip that I'm about to show you is like two weeks old or so, I think, but I had to show it to you. This is Ro Khanna running circles around Maria Bartiromo on a variety of issues, most importantly, Medicare for All. Check it out. How does Bernie Sanders differentiate himself in this crowded field Wednesday night? I think of three policies. One, Bernie Sanders needs to make it clear that he is not going to get us into more unconstitutional wars. He's not going to spend trillions of dollars in the Middle East and overseas. He's going to invest in this country. Second, he needs to make it clear that he's always stood up for bad trade deals, de trade deals uh, that have really led to deindustrialization. And he's going to invest again in rural America and invest again in manufacturing in this country and raising worker wages. And third, I would say that he should talk about uh, the support he has in the Midwest, uh, how well he's done uh, in the heartland of this country and why he's going to be a successful candidate against the president. Well, one of his main policies has been Medicare for all. How can you justify eliminating the current 180 million people who are currently getting their insurance from the private sector? Uh, because, of course, Medicare for all wipes that out. Well, his bill actually doesn't do that. It says that you can have private insurance, but it has to be supplemental. So what his bill says is everyone gets basic Medicare. Uh, you get basic health care, including dental and vision. It's going to cost you less. If you're not happy with it and you want more, you can still go keep your insurance company. But his bill is basically saying that the government has an obligation to provide people with basic health care. It will reduce premiums and increase benefits. And by the way, President Trump was for it in 2000. He, in his book, the America We Deserve said that a single-payer system is the best way to get health care to, to people. Do you think the, the, the country is, is ready for some of these policies which appear socialist? Well, I, I'm a progressive capitalist. I represent Silicon Valley. We have some of the most economic growth. Uh, and I think what Bernie Sanders is talking about in terms of investing in people's health care and education is what we need to compete with China and prepare for the 21st century. I think we have to start investing in our people again. So he does such a great job of neutralizing criticism from the right, specifically because of that last part that he threw in there, which is true in the case of Ro Khanna. He says, I'm a progressive capitalist. Now, I know many people who listen to this show are to the left of Ro Khanna and are democratic socialists, for example. But even if you disagree with Ro Khanna, you have to respect the ability of him because of that ideology that he has and where he sits on the political spectrum, his ability to neutralize the criticism from the right because, in part, he speaks their language. So what did he just say at the end there? Well, listen, forget, you know, oh, this policy appears socialist. Forget that. What do you think helps businesses getting health care off of their backs? So we can compete better in a global economy if... That's one, one of the things that businesses don't have to worry about because it's true. That's a very big cost for a lot of businesses. If you have employer-sponsored insurance, that's a huge cost for them. Why do you think they want to shoulder that burden? No, that's a pain in the ass. What if we just took health care off the table completely? That would help business, right? Most certainly would. So what he does such a great job of doing is he can speak that language. He can speak the language of Maria Bartiromo and CNBC and Fox Business Network. And he can explain to them, no, 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 even on your own terms, this is silly. So let me break this down for you. I absolutely love it. I like when Maria Bartiromo asked, is the country ready for this policy, which appears socialist? The polls show, at least according to some polls, 70% of the country supports Medicare for all. I believe that is the definition of ready. I believe once you eclipse that 50% number, we're talking about ready, because that is a majority of people, and in this case, an overwhelming majority of people. So where's the question? Where's the question? Um, and then I like that he brought up these three super important issues, because I do think that that's a winning formula, winning strategy for an election. So he says, well, what, she says, what things uh, can he focus on to differentiate himself? First of all, end the offensive wars, the illegal wars, and reinvest here at home. That's giant, and that issue sells better than many people in Washington, D.C. think it does. Um, that, and that will differentiate him, because Bernie would be one of two candidates who's arguing for that position, and really sets him apart. The second thing he says is focus on trade deals and the deindustrialization of America, and how we're going to go in the other direction. And, you know, we do an infrastructure deal, we do a Green New Deal, and we make it so that um, we bring jobs back to this country. An another thing that's huge, and that sells everywhere. And then finally, he says Medicare for all. And my favorite part is, and I don't know why Democrats don't do this more often, is what Ro Khanna brought up about Trump there. Because 
you know that they have a Pavlovian response when you bring up Trump and that their default position is let's defend daddy. So if you know that that's the case, well then why would you as a lefty not say, hey man, your god emperor king supported this. So what, are you gonna disagree with that person? By all means, it's your god emperor king, not mine, so go right ahead. So I love the framing from Ro Khanna there. Um, it works. It absolutely works. So people should take notes because this is how you do it.